Hello, my name is Dale Summons. This past August, we took a team out to Arizona to install a metal roof on Pastor Darwin Sozi's church. The roof there has been leaking for over two years and uh, it was just a situation where we needed to uh, put a roof on his, on his building. August 20th we left for uh, Arizona. The first day was a, was a long day. We ran into a lot of problems too. Torrential downpours, we ran into an accident. We didn't get to the motel until 10 o'clock at night. And, uh, the next day we, we left Missouri and drove to Amarillo, Texas and we stayed there. We went from there to Gallup, New Mexico, and a couple of the other guys went to uh, Walmart to pick up all our uh, groceries and supplies for the week, and Pastor Brad and I went to Home Depot, and it was just very stressful, and we headed on out to, uh, to Pastor Sozi's church. But the last 11 miles, it takes about 30 five minutes just to go 11 miles because of the road conditions. The church itself is what we put the uh, roof on. The front of the church was all right with a couple exceptions. One was right by the entrance, repatched it and uh, reworked it. The back of the roof of the church was the problem. The wind actually blew almost everything off. The, the men slept in the church and the one night it, it poured and we had buckets all over the place to catch the rainwater. Pastor Brad and Roger are on the roof. Uh, I worked down on the scaffold and then had two people on the, on the ground, uh, Rich and my sister Nancy, who were able to hand the panels up to us and then move the scaffolding as we moved down. It worked out pretty good.
off and on all week it rained. I've been out there six times and it never rained as much as it did in this past August that we were there. This year it just inundated us almost every day. We were able to work around it and uh, get the job uh, completed. The Sozies were so thrilled to have this roof put on. Sunday we went back to the site and uh, there was a downpour right over us only. And I was in this front wheel drive van and every time I'd put the gas on, we just kept sliding. The water was just going under the vehicle. It looked like it was gonna just wash us away. And then Pastor Sozi's wife, Ann, came down with their old truck and were able to uh, ferry us back to the church and we, Spent that morning worshiping God in their, in their church, and Pastor Sozi spoke. And that's part of the problem with him and his church. On a Sunday morning, he roughly has maybe 20 to 25, 30 people at the most, but a lot of times the roads are so bad that the people don't come, they can't, they can't get there. It's just, it's not living like we live here. And we turn the sink on at the, at the, in the kitchen and turn the faucet on at the sink and we have water and turn the light bulb on, we have, uh, we have electricity and so on and so forth. Out there, it's just not like that at all. There is electricity at his house and we were able to run extension lines over to the church in order for us to have electricity so we could charge uh, our battery operated tools and what have you and have lights in the church. Uh, there is no running water there. There's no running water at the church or at his house. But Pastor Sozi went and got water from one of the wells and filled it up prior to us getting there. And then as the week progressed, we had to go and get water again and uh, keep filling this thing up. But the water is a big problem and uh, he deals with that day in and day out. They have a 1,000 gallon cistern that he has to keep filled. He needs to replenish that water all the time. Because right now all he has is 50 gallon tanks and he has to fill those up, come back, empty them, go to the well, fill them up, come back, empty them. So it's a real process. <laughs> Inside of the church was a real mess, and we were able to do some of the work inside. We got the inside looking nice. More work needs to be done, more spackling, more painting, etc. So that's something that another team in the future hopefully would be able to do. <laughs> Stephanie and uh, Sonia were our main source of cooks and my sister helped out cleaning up and whatnot, but they provided the, all the meals for us, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And we want to be an encouragement for them, and that's why we're there, to put a roof on and to be an encouragement to uh, Pastor Darwin, Ian, and his congregation. Uh, thank you so much for helping us go to Red Rock Wesleyan Church in Arizona on the Navajo Reservation. Uh, thank you for helping us put a new roof on Pastor Darwin's church there. Uh, without you, this would not have been possible. Once the roof was on, it was, it was so rewarding, so uh, such a blessing to me personally and, and to the Sozies, I'm sure. They were very thankful that we were able to do this and uh, you know, give their church new life. And I credit God with all the 
with everything he'd done and for the money that was raised we raised $7,957 and we spent $7,935. So God answers. Every, every trip we've ever done, God asked. God has the money and, and it, it was always there. Two weeks later, Pastor Sozi had a revival at his church. And the first night they had 21, the second night they had 27, and the third night they had 52 people. And three people came to the Lord through this ministry so you say well why do we go out there and why do we do what we do out there because it's his ministry it's his church it's his people the Native Americans the Navajo have a place to go where they can hear about Christ in their own language and it's it's so meaningful for them and we just have a burden for Pastor Sozi and, and the work that he does there uh, it's not monumental work but it's work for the Lord and God put him in that spot and we just wanna come alongside him and help him in whatever way we can.